What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to escape a boot loop on the new iOS 10 Yalu jailbreak without restoring or losing any of your jailbreak data. And you'll know you're in a boot loop when your device is either stuck on the Apple logo, stuck on the spinning respring wheel, or if your screen is just completely black and never actually gets to the lock screen. And this same fix I'm gonna be showing you also applies to if Yalu keeps rebooting your device instead of actually sending it into a jailbroken state, or if it just boots to safe mode every single time. And there's a couple reasons why your device could be acting like this and it could be either due to installing a bad tweak that isn't compatible with the current version which is iOS 10 right now or a conflict of multiple tweaks that you have installed through Cydia. So if you notice this happening on your device the first thing you should think about is the last tweak you installed or updated because that's likely the culprit. However if you don't know what's causing it we can definitely find that out and that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do in this video. So first of all I'm going to get my device stuck in a boot loop and you'll see it right here in a second. So as you can see, when I click jailbreak, my screen just turns completely black and nothing ever happens. I can't press the home button or the lock button. I can't press anything. It's completely unresponsive and frozen. And sometimes it'll even have the spinning wheel and it will just spin infinitely. I waited about 30 minutes one time and it just never went away. It just stayed on that spinning wheel. All right, so now we need to escape the boot loop or the respring loop or whatever you're having right now. And to do that, we need to first get back to a non jailbroken state. And we do this by simply hard rebooting our device. And then after that, we'll be booting into no substrate mode to do some troubleshooting and no substrate mode is essentially just the mode where all substrate dependent tweaks which are pretty much every tweak are completely disabled all right so let's go ahead and do this so the first things first we need to force reboot or restart our device by holding the home and power button together and then you will see the apple logo show up now if you're on an iphone 7 or 7 plus you're going to be holding the home button or the power button sorry and the volume down button together until you see a black screen or until you see the apple logo so as you can see we did get ourselves out of that small little boot loop and now we're back to a non jailbroken state so i'm just gonna go ahead and put in my password and show you that we are in fact not jailbroken so i'm going to try to open up cydia and you'll see that it crashes right away and then we can open up Yalu and you can see that we are not jailbroken. And so once we come back from that, we're going to open up the Yalu application. And if you can't open the Yalu application, by the way, you need to watch my previous video where I showed exactly how to fix this. All right. So anyways, once we're in here, we're going to click the go button and then immediately start holding the volume up button until we get to the lock screen. And this is how we boot into no substrate mode. All right. So I'm going to click go and then immediately start holding the volume up button. So if we get the message that storage almost full, you can see the storage almost full. So that means that we are going into a jailbroken state, but since we're holding the volume up button, it's going to boot us into no substrate mode. And this is how we will avoid that boot loop. So as you can see, we get the wheel now, whereas we didn't get that the first time. And now we are back to the lock screen. So you can use touch ID now to get in and you can see we are not there's no theming or anything going on here. That's because we are in no substrate mode and all substrate tweaks are disabled. Now, I just want to mention that you should not see the Apple logo at all during that pass phase. If you do, you just need to keep retrying it. You need to make sure you get the storage almost full pop up before it goes into the reboot. All right, so anyways, now that we're in no substrate mode, we can go ahead and enter Cydia. As you can see, it did crash before, but now we can go ahead and enter it. And now is when you want to remove the tweak that was causing the boot loop. And if you get an error while trying to remove the tweak, it may say something like package locked or something like that. Just quit the Cydia app and just retry it you will eventually be able to delete it now if you don't know what tweak was actually causing the boot loop you will need to use iCleaner Pro and do a little bit more work so inside of Cydia you could just search for iCleaner Pro install that and now we're gonna go do some work inside of iCleaner Pro right, so let's open up iCleaner Pro and once you get here you want to click on the little plus icon in the bottom left then click on substrate add-on Cydia substrate add-ons right here and this section here will allow you to temporarily disable certain tweaks with just a kill switch right here. Now is the point where you guys should be trying to narrow down the potential bad tweaks and groups and then disable them. So for instance, if you think it could be one of two or three tweaks, but you aren't sure exactly which one is causing the issue, just simply disable all three tweaks, tap apply, respring, and then move on. So I'm gonna show you how we do that. So I know the tweaks that are causing the issue and it's actually air blue in combination with a tweak called Harbor. So as you can see, I disabled Harbor and I also disabled everything that says air blue in it. And when I say a conflict of tweaks, this is what I'm talking about because if I enable one tweak, nothing will happen. I won't be in a boot loop or anything like that, but it's only when both of them are enabled is when I get in a boot loop. All right, so now that I have the tweaks disabled, I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on apply. 
and then click yes to respring the device. And now we are back and we should be right back where we just were. Now we want to simply reboot our device the old fashioned way, hold the power button, slide the power off, and then boot right back up the normal way. And now we are back into a non jailbroken state. As you can see, I can't open up Cydia. So now we just wanna reopen the Yalu application and then you wanna wait a few seconds and then we're just gonna hit go without holding anything else, just like a normal jailbreak. So just go ahead and hit go. And now obviously we can see we are not stuck in a boot loop. And if that happens to you, if you see you actually get to the lock screen, you know it was one of those two or three or however many tweaks you disabled, you know it was one of those tweaks that was causing the issue. So if I go ahead and enter my password, you can see I'm back to my device with everything enabled. I have my themes going and everything. Now, if you wanna narrow it down to just one tweak that's causing the issue, you just need to go back to iCleaner, enable one tweak at a time, and then when you get hit with a boot loop or sent to safe mode, you know which tweak was the culprit. And once you get back into a boot loop from the tweak you narrowed it down to, just repeat the same steps, which is reboot, re-jailbreak in a no-substrate mode, delete the tweak, reboot, and then re-jailbreak normally. Now, I know it can be time consuming if you don't know which tweak was actually causing the boot loop from the start, but you just need to stay patient and just realize that this is so much better than restoring. Now, if Yalu keeps booting you into safe mode, that means you still haven't resolved the bad tweak or the confliction of tweaks yet. So you just need to go into iCleaner Pro and disable certain tweaks until you find out which one is causing the issue. And you'll know which one's causing the issue when you respring and you come back and you see your theme is actually working and you're not in safe mode. So this boot loop is a little bit different than the boot loop from iOS 9.3.3, but the solution is still the same. So anyways, guys, there you have it. That is how you solve a boot loop or a respring loop or always booting into safe mode but whatever your issue is, this should solve it. I hope this helped you out. And if it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe for a lot more jailbreak related guides, just like this one, including tweaks, jailbreak guides, all kinds of stuff coming to the channel related to the iOS 10 jailbreak. So thanks again for watching guys, and I will see you soon.